What's up, Legends? I got another Naruto Shippuden episode review for you guys. Chap episode 500. I was going to say chapter. I'm stupid. But anyway, yeah, man. This was in question, in question mark. A question mark. Was it the last episode of Naruto? Hmm. It seems like it, it's... The way they set it up seems like it is, but they didn't have animate chapter 700 yet, so who knows. But yeah, we start off the episode with a flashback. In, 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 in signature Naruto fashion, vintage Naruto. But it's Aruka having a dream about like episode one of Naruto, which is good if this is like the last episode of Naruto. Him having a dream about the first episode of Naruto at all is is kind of it's really it's touching, it's heartbreaking, it's nostalgic. But they they reanimated it. They could have used the same animation for nostalgia purposes, but they decided to reanimate it. Why not? And that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that they reanimated it. So, Aruka's still going through his little crisis where he doesn't know what to say. And then that's when Naruto himself comes to Aruka's door. He's like, hey, Aruka sensei. Naruto's obviously nervous as hell. He's nervous about something. We don't know. We could assume it's the wedding at first. But then he it basically becomes what he's going to say. So, Naruto pisses off Aruka real quick because he's like, you know, this is my last day as a single man. Let's go and have some fun or something. And that pisses off Aruka because he's like, you know what? I never taught you how to treat women. You're acting like a dude. She's all working. She's working hard on the wedding while you're just here trying to be a dickhead. We're going to Hinata's house. And Naruto's like, wait, I can't say what I want to say to you around Hinata. And this, like, Aruka's just jumping to all kinds of conclusions in his mind. You can tell. So Aruka's like, you know what? I don't know why I was worried so hard about what to say to you and like just walks off slowly like he's he that that's enough for him to end his friendship with naruto that's enough for him like he just like he's like you know what fuck you naruto i'm done with your shit fuck you and so naruto he didn't say all that but he just walked off in a fuck you way so naruto's just like wait i have a request and he's like a request and naruto's like will you attend will you he asked Yuruka to attend the um the wedding as his father and Aruka's just choked up by this, and he starts to, he almost starts to cry. He's like, you know what, I'll do it. And Naruto's happy. He runs into what I presume is Hinata's house, because I, I don't know. He just, I don't think Naruto lives there, because they were going to Hinata's house anyway. They were almost there. Naruto just runs into what, what I think is Hinata's house. And yeah, the next day, and Aruka finally gets his message out. He says, Hinata take care of Naruto please Naruto you better not fuck up make you not to happy or I'll fuck you up and yeah that's basically it so then Udai and Moegi we see them nice to see them putting the side the Hyuga and the Uzumaki Hyuga wedding reception down there's only one Uzumaki in that whole place right now which is odd I mean Kotin could have been there to add another Uzumaki flavor but why would she be there honestly but we have Naruto Hinata's wedding. It's finally starting. We see everything. Everyone's in suits. Everyone's dressed up. We see a lot of foreshadowing. We see Shino and Mirai. Shino has a cute little moment with, with Mirai. Uh, Mirai's riding uh, Akamaru. I was going to call him Akakiba. Uh, she, she's riding Akamaru and Akamaru's tired and Shino goes over to her. He's like, you know, he's tired. You should get off now. And um, she's like, no, she's being a little, little brat. She's being a little brat. She's an adorable little brat. But she's like, no, I want to ride him any some more. It sounds. All right, whatever, pause. And she's like, no, she wants to continue riding the, the dog. <laughs> and she, he, Sheena's like, yeah, I have no choice. He picks her up, puts her on his neck. And he's like, we're going to have to ride Sheena today, right? Um, she's going to have to horseback Sheena ride. I, can't, I don't know. I don't know the terminology that he used. I forgot. Damn it. <laughs> but yeah, she's riding on Shino's neck, and that just that tells you, hey, Shino is good with kids. What's he gonna do in the future? Become a teacher. We know that. Then they show Tamari come up to Shikamaru, all like, oh, I heard weddings are where the friends of the groom come to pick up women. And Shikamaru's just like, no, nah, what a drag. Picks, takes her hand. They walk over somewhere. They're just holding hands and shit. And that's showing that they're a couple now. And it's foreshadowing of like the parents of the next future generation as well as this one because they go they cut over the Eno. She's like, when did they hook up and size all like they could think the same thing about us and they're holding hands as well. 
and they're not blushing around each other, meaning they've been together for, like, a little bit of time, so they're used to each other now. They're, like, not, oh, well, I mean, I never expected Sai to blush at her, because he has no emotions, he has no soul, but, <laughs> but, uh, Eno wasn't blushing either, she was just holding his hand, smiling, so they, they've been around together for a while, and then we see Choji with hard eyes, and I thought he was looking at Kaudui, which would have been a good way to tie in all the parents of the next generation. But no, he's just looking at cake. Cake and he's about to stick his dick in the cake, okay? Let's just say let, let's keep it there. Let's keep it that way. That way. What? Where? Hello? Hello! Um So yeah, after Choji's fantasies, we go to Sakura. She's looking lonely because like obviously Sasuke's not there. But then a hawk comes, lands on Sakura's arm, gives her the gives her a paper, and she reads it. it says congratulations, and it's from Sasuke. Obviously, it's from Sasuke. They show Sasuke walking away, and he looks back and just smiles, which is a good thing because Sasuke's character, the way Sasuke's character is right now, he's a good guy. Obviously, he's a good guy, but he doesn't feel he doesn't feel like one. He's done so much shit in the past that he doesn't want to. Uh, he doesn't want to dabble in the happiness of the future. Not just yet. That's that's the way Sasuke's thinking. He's like, he's done so much, he doesn't deserve. He feels like he doesn't deserve to be happy with everyone. He doesn't deserve to share their happiness. And also, he feels like he's just going to be an outcast because he was so evil back then. He was, he was so... He, I wouldn't even call him evil. He was just so crazy back then. That, oh, I might call him. He was just so crazy back then that he just doesn't feel right around all these good people. He doesn't feel like he's atoned enough. That's why Sasuke didn't attend the wedding. Because he doesn't feel like he deserves to like be a part of Naruto's happiness like that. Even though it made, it made Naruto happy to have a best man, I guess. Because Aruka would have just been like, hey, son, go have some sex. Here's a cigarette. Go fuck. Now. Believe it. Make me some brand babies. Believe it. So... And then we go on to Naruto and Hinata themselves. Hinata looking good in that dress with lipstick and her bun all tied up and shit. We've seen this already in the last at like the end credits, but it's good to see it animated, at, like completely animated. Uh, I, one thing about it is just I wish we would have actually got to see the complete wedding because we don't get to see the complete wedding. We just see Naruto and Hinata walking out together. And it's just like, damn, I really wanted to see the complete wedding. Like, fuck. Fuck me, right? I, I, can't, I can't be satisfied. I can't be. No. I'm, I'm, it was a good episode nonetheless because we see Hiyashi and Hanabi come in. Hanabi was looking adorable, though, when she was just blushing, looking at Hinata. They're like, you look so beautiful. Ah! <laughs> and then um, Hiyashi smiled and Hinata smiled. And first off, Hinata was looking out the window. She was like, Neji, I'm getting married. She's talking to Neji. And we see Naruto's next to her. He's looking out the window at the ho the fourth Hokage's face. In his mind, he was thinking um, he was thinking about him. He's like, I'm finally doing it. I'm doing something. I'm getting married. Because we in the in the novel itself, he was thinking that they sh they had Naruto's thoughts, but in the anime, they didn't have Naruto's thoughts, which is okay, whatever. So so Naruto's like he turns around when Hanabi and Hiyashi come in the room. He's like, he's determined. He's ready. <laughs> like, you see, his face has just determination until he looks at Hinata and then he just smiles. But when he, when he's not looking at Hinata, he's just determined as fuck. <laughs> he's like, I'm so fucking ready! Like, when he's not looking at Hinata, he's determined as fuck. When he does look at her, he gets soft and smiles. But otherwise, he's just determined. He's like, yo, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's... Believe it! It would make... <laughs> it would be funny. It would just be hilarious if he said believe it one last time in the dub when they do finally get to this, like, in, like, 15 years. But, still, it was a good, it's probably gonna be, like, three years before the dub gets to this, this episode. Damn, bro, the dub is, like, in 300s, man. I don't know. Two or three years it'll take them to get to this. But, yeah. So, Naruto and Hinata, they walk out, and... They walk out holding hands, and that's where the episode ends. And then the new outro begins. Well, not the new outro. It's the same song with, like, new animations. Just showing the whole history of Naruto. Signifying that this is indeed pro most likely the last episode of Naruto that we'll ever see. Naruto. <sighs>
shit. <laughs> and then after that, they don't even show a preview for the next episode, which is worrying me because I, I want to see Chapter 700 animated in this ep in Naruto Shippuden, not Boruto, because it only makes sense. It's only fair that Naruto gets to be Hokage in Shippuden and not just in Boruto. I want to see him become Hokage in his series, damn it! I know we have an OVA, but damn it! But, uh, yeah, so... After that, they showed a preview to Boruto. They were like, it's finally here. It's coming April 5th. But that leaves an entire week. So next week, we don't have... Either either we don't have a Naruto episode, or we have Naruto Chapter 700 being animated, hopefully. And, um... Then we go to Boruto the week after that. And... It's crazy to think. I've been watching Naruto since I was 12. And I'm turning 22 tomorrow, like... It's crazy. It's really crazy to think that. Wow, Naruto's finally done. It's it's done completely. It's freaking finished. After next week, at least, it'll be finished. And there's a little symbolism at the end, the very end. It's Boruto. Well, it's Naruto. Naruto in his the last gear. He's walking in like a black background. Takes off his headband, hands it to someone. It's Boruto. Boruto puts the headband on and they fist bump each other. Beautiful passing of the torch symbol symbolization. Beautiful. But this has been DZ Legend with another legendary concert. Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe if you're nasty. Peace, Legend. A storm's coming, he's making waves. Got me fumbling in the lead. Hurricane, my wind star can't be tamed. But my chakras in the game. Fill my will of fire, so the storm is not a game. Cause nothing is the same except the legend's claim to fame. When he continues to claim victories with that one to punch, a tail beast energy. I got energy, deep, way down inside me. Powerful chakras killing me. I'm mastered like Killer B. Dreams of Hokage. I've